Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We continue to see some cloudy skies across the region this morning. I haven't seen any precipitation across the area yet, but uh, could see a few sprinkles for this afternoon. Not going to see a, a lot of total precipitation, but could see an isolated shower move in off the water for this afternoon. Moving in the next few days, continue to see some low cloudiness across the region, especially in the morning hours. Mostly temperatures moderating and not going to see a uh, good chance of rainfall until possibly Saturday. And even Saturday looks like uh, chances are going to be capped around 34% at this time. Looking at our sounding from this morning, we do have freezing level 11,200 feet. Winds are the strongest around 16 to 20,000 feet at the northeast, around 25 knots. Winds in the low levels, 21 knots at 1,000 feet and uh, decreasing to around 10 knots at 6 thousand feet this morning so not very strong winds throughout the calm this morning uh, we do have a uh, cutoff low over the area with an upper level ridge over top so or to our north and that's uh, giving us uh, some lighter winds across the area throughout the column and taking a look at our current surface analysis the area low pressure off the Carolina coast uh, we're seeing a bank of low clouds across our area this morning that's gonna be the case throughout much of the day today should see a few peaks of sunshine once moving the afternoon hours uh, today uh, but overall uh, with an area high pressure off to our north associated with the upper level ridge should see the cloud cover start to uh, road across the region especially with the higher uh, late may sun across the area and taking a look at our current satellite imagery you can see we do have uh, that area low pressure spinning off the carolina coast uh, low clouds across our area our region seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity well off the coast over the open waters could see some some mentioned showers pivot in from the uh, ocean this afternoon especially with the uh, higher sun angle, a little bit of instability across the ocean, possibly pivoting those showers across our region. But overall, not going to see a lot of precipitation. We do see a shower. And taking a look at the Herm model, you can see uh, kind of erodes those low clouds, especially across the center of the peninsula for this afternoon and the evening hours. And once moving to the overnight hours, going to see that low cloud really build in the region, uh, seeing a possibility of a few sprinkles or uh, light rain showers uh, for especially towards about dawn tomorrow morning and then seeing those uh, showers uh, kind of move off the coast once again for Thursday afternoon. And then we're moving into our uh, European model. The next few days you can see here going to have uh, that area low pressure continuing to spin off the coast for today and tomorrow. Possibility of shower tomorrow morning for Friday looks like. Uh, should be a warmer day across the region. We'll have a cold front starting to approach from the north. That's going to give us uh, a bit more or a bit warmer, excuse me, temperatures across the area uh, with a uh, decent amount of sunshine Friday as well. Then moving to Saturday, we'll have that back to a cold front moving the region. Right now it looks like it should move through during the afternoon hours and allow us to see some warm temperatures in the morning on Friday. And then seeing cooler conditions during the late afternoon hours, the chance of showers as well. Moving into our Sunday, high pressure builds in from the north, uh, looking like we'll have windy to breezy conditions in the morning and that Decreasing during the afternoon, high pressure building in. I uh, should see some cooler conditions in comparison to Saturday for Sunday. Temperatures in the upper 60s for highs. And then for Monday, uh, looks like or continue to see high pressure in control. Uh, some models are indicating a possibility of some lingering uh, precipitation across the region, but right now, uh, not really seeing that uh, as most model guidance is indicating high pressure in control and uh, into Tuesday as well. So taking a look at our risk chart for today. Uh, those winds have not come up as much as expected this morning uh, and uh, have reduced the peak wind gusts for this afternoon and this morning up to 21 knots, uh, seeing a high day around 71. Our, our current temperature is already up to 67 to 68 degrees, so uh, temperatures have warmed quite nicely this morning. Uh, overnight tonight, we'll see a low around 60. Uh, good chance of low clouds overnight as well with the northeasterly winds decreasing uh, to around 6 to 11 knots. We'll also see uh, an orange condition for our low clouds that I mentioned, so a good chance of that uh, across the area. Our next 24 hours and our term of forecast uh, should see uh, that low cloudiness starting to erode, especially after noon today with a scatter deck around 1,500, broken deck at 3,000, uh, possibly uh, seeing that uh, lower ceiling with any showers moving in. Uh, but overall, once we move past about 8 p.m. this evening, going to see that uh, low cloud build back in the region. Uh, but should see a few peaks of sunshine this afternoon and tomorrow morning will be uh, socked into the look like with the low cloud around 300 feet reduced visibilities as well and that should erode during the afternoon hours as is expected today our tides are half to one foot above normal and looking at thursday and friday thursday overcast low clouds slight chance of rain shower 
in the morning, becoming mostly partly cloudy during the afternoon, evening. We'll have slightly breezy winds once again on shore. High 72 degrees Thursday night, mostly cloudy, with a chance of low clouds, patchy fog, low 60. And for Friday, slight chance of low clouds, patchy fog early, otherwise partly mostly cloudy and warmer, high 78 degrees. So the next seven days, uh, looking at those uh, low end chances of uh, some showers for this afternoon as well as Thursday morning. Uh, for our Friday, going to be uh, seeing temperatures warmer in the upper 70s. Saturday, uh, that 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm with that backdoor cold front moving through, a high of 79. Cooling down about 10 degrees on Sunday, a high in the upper 60s. And for Monday and Tuesday, seeing a warmer trend across the region, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid 70s on Monday, upper 70s on Tuesday. And uh, could be seeing temperatures even warmer than that as we move into the middle latter portion of next week. Uh, models really diverge on uh, how the pattern will evolve towards that time period. But right now it looks like we could be seeing a warming trend for that time period. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning, 8.15 at 10 a.m.